hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is jessica and this is my reality in today's video we are going to be preparing a fishy kind of okra soup so i hope you guys stay tuned to the end to see how i made this okra soup so as you guys can see over here my hobby is helping me cut the humongous <laughs> fish i think this is tilapia fish or red fish i can't even remember but i call it tilapia fish let me guys know in the comment section if you know what the name of this fish is so as soon as he was done cutting the fish i went ahead to wash and rinse it properly now we are going to preheat our air fryer because we are going to be frying it or air frying it in the air fryer all right back to the fish as soon as i was done washing the fish i went ahead to pat it dry with a paper towel now this step is very much important because we want all the seasoning we are going to be sprinkling on the fish to stick properly so you have to go through this process okay make sure you pat it dry thoroughly we, we don't want any moisture any liquid on the fish or in the fish <laughs> now i'm going to add some salt just about a teaspoon of salt and then i'm going to be adding my fish seasoning and i'm using the ariel so you can use any fish seasoning of your choice but the important thing is to use fish seasoning Now we are going to transfer our seasoned fish into our air fryer basket and pop it right back in the air fryer. Now you are going to select the fish button at 175 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes and while the fish is air frying i'm going to introduce you to the rest of the ingredients over here i've got my chopped okra i've got my spinach two seasoning cubes and about three tablespoons of crayfish dry crayfish and this is Uziza seed it's been blended if you are a nigerian or Igbo, to be precise i'm sure you will know that spice over here i've got my scotch bonnet my red bell pepper onion and uh, two fresh tomatoes so i'm going to cut them into big chunks transfer everything in my food processor and blend Now it's been 10 minutes later and our fish is not even done yet so I'm going to bring the basket out, flip the fish over and put it back in the air fryer to continue frying. And this time around I'm going to bump up the heat to 180 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. Now in a clean large pot, I'm going to be adding some palm oil. You can use any palm oil of your choice. I mean any brand, but this is always my favorite brand, which is the Blue Bay. You are going to allow the oil to heat up a bit and then pour in the blended mixture, the peppers, the tomatoes and the onion. Yeah, which we blended earlier. So you're going to fry until it looks like this then you know that it's well and properly fried now we are going to add the crayfish if you like you can blend your crayfish but i chose not to blend it i'm going to be adding the seasoning cubes stir 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 
make sure everything is properly stirred in to combine well and now we are going to be adding our chopped okra i i prepped this okra a night before so it was a lot easier for me the next day <laughs> so i advise you do same okay so you don't end up rushing in the kitchen or spending more time cutting the okra and i didn't do it with my food processor i wanted it to be hand chopped if that makes sense i used a knife to chop them okay because i wanted it to look this way i don't want the food processor chopped okra no i don't want that so after adding the okra i added a tiny bit of water which i used to rinse the food processor i tested it and there was no salt at all so i had to add a little bit more salt and then i added the blended oziza seeds about one and a half tablespoons depending on the quantity of okra soup you are making you might need more or less of the oziza seeds guys the addition of that oziza seeds <sighs> you need to try it if you don't have oziza seeds and you have the leafy one add it they are both going to give you the same flavor and the same taste okay so i added more water because i don't like my soup very thick like thick thick and then i added the spinach i think that's the last thing oh no the fish is going to come last okay give it a gentle stir and we are going to be adding the fish but <laughs> i just wanted to see if i was going to get any liquid from frying the fish but nothing came out you guys saw that and here is the fish looking so tempting you guys this fish was properly fried and i can't even explain how yummy it was in that soup you need to give this recipe a try and let me know what you think and how it turned out for you now after adding the fish you're going to allow this soup to simmer for about two to three minutes and that is it you guys look at this soup like i enjoyed it with semolina fufu it was so great it was so yummy i thoroughly enjoyed my soup with the with the air fried fish yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and subscribe